Anyhow, welcome to another video. Today, we have a special treat for you, something I designed for the truck. Uh, I will put these files out there for a uh, 3D printer if you guys want to do stuff with it. I must say it's probably a very niche community, people who own lifted kind of like trucks and 3D printers at the same time, but uh, here is what we have. I don't know if I'm in focus. Probably not. Perfectly in focus. All right. I designed a printed switch panel. Five, six switch holes, and I take, took up one with a charger port because why not? And uh, it's pretty sturdy, other than this way. It's not made for uh, stuff. It's not made for uh, whatever you call it pressure this direction. So as soon as you mount it in, it should stay not broken until for the life of the truck, essentially. Um, I'll put these files up if you want to use them. Pass that. Enjoy the video. All right, so I don't know if, I'm pretty sure this is factory because there are threaded inserts there for these nuts uh, and I'm pretty sure my father didn't put them in. So there's a bracket on your head unit. As long as it is factory, there's a bracket on your head unit that you can pull out and I've designed these holes here, slots, on the uh, switch mount itself to line up with holes in that bracket. You're gonna need to take some very small bolts. Uh, you can even call. You could even use screws, probably. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, one for each headlight, one for the taillights, one for the AC, and one for your panel. So your lights come on with the lights, the panel comes on with the dash, and the AC comes on key. And they're all 10 amp, they're all in the exact same range. So, as you can see, I already have some nuts and bolts in here from uh, previous prototyping. Um, I just ripped that out because I liked this design better but this thing does only go in one way. There is a up and a down. The cl hole closest to the front of the panel is up. It should just pretty much go in like this. Slide back. It sits right below the radio. The um, slots also give you a little bit more wiggle room to adjust uh, the forward and backwards so that you can make it look how you like. And I think that's gonna look pretty good. Not gonna hook it up all the way right yet, just because we gotta rehook up all the lights and make sure you know that stuff looks works like really it's supposed good. to. But uh, I'll get you guys a, a better close up when it comes time. Once again, the files will be online. Just go to Thingiverse. I'm gonna name it 1996 Toyota Tacoma Single Din Switch Panel. You know, so yeah, I'm going to include the most search terms in there that I can, so hopefully it hits the bright, broadest audience. We'll put a link. Yeah, there will also be a link in the description. Okay, so while Cole was in there installing that, I came out here, installed a tap here onto the uh, panel light right there. So whenever he turns his uh, dash lights on, 
this fuse will get power, which will power our switches in there. So the little lights on each switch will only light up when the dash lights are on, which is how we should have done it to start with, but we were just doing it for functionality, knowing we were going to completely rewire and put in this switch panel. Back to coal. There's a little lug we can use for a ground right here. That's what I'm gonna use for a ground. It's right there. <laughs> so uh, it run, the cable will run up and behind the environmental controls panel and then uh, onto that little um, thing. So I need a rather large ring terminal and several pieces of ground wire. All right, everybody, so you saw the results. I think it looks a lot better than having wires hanging out the uh, front of my console. It looks very factory. Um, yeah, to be honest, really uh, if I printed it with uh, black pl uh, black filament, it would probably look even better. But, you know, just hitting it with a coat of uh, filler primer and then black spray paint um, did, the, did the job and worked wonders. All right, so uh, he's got to get it, I got to get it. Um, See y'all later, yep. subscribe. Uh, put your comments in the comment section. Later. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching the video.